What up with it? Cue high nature. And T. We about to do a what? Mukbang, mukbang, whatever y'all call it. What? What? Mukbang. Hey, she put me on. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about this, man. For real, for real. So we just eat and talk for real, for real. So what we gonna do is we just finished seeing the first Purge movie. As you see in the title. And we just gonna talk about it. All right, man. So if you're not familiar, oh my fault. I'm just jumping in. <laughs> hold if on, hold on. <laughs> Before we get started, if y'all don't want to listen, if y'all don't want no spoilers or anything, don't watch this video because I might slip up and you know, just say whatever. True enough. By the way, we eating some. Pork chops, pork, you feel me? Chop. Pork chops. Pork chops. That's some rice, you feel me? Okay, that's what we got one on. Okay, so if you ain't familiar with the uh, Purge series, it's basically a movie about where people get an opportunity for one night, 12 hours, they could do whatever they want. Anything Any legal. Crime. You could kill, you could steal, you could do whatever you want to do, and all the above. You know what I'm saying? I seen the first one. I liked it. If I'm not mistaken, the first one, they were, it was just focused on one house. I think it's like four or five. Now, nah, I didn't got messed up. But anyway, everybody's in one house, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And then they had their little system set up. You know, this is way beyond the or the uh, this actual movie, you feel me? But they they had their little system, you know, their little anti-purge system. The father sold those systems, if I'm not mistaken. Long story short, the little boy, they had a little camera set up. He said, oh, they need help. He let them in. Boom. Bruh. Then they had a fight for their life, you feel me? And the rest of the movie. And then you had a few more others after that where it focused on, you know, I think it was another household in the second movie. Then the third when they finally hit the streets. A lot of people was curious, including myself. What's going on around the city? That's cool, we focusing on these individuals. But let's see what's going on, you know, everywhere. And that's what, you know, I don't think it was anarchy. But they finally hit the streets and then there was one, another one and whatever, anyway. This one is the origins of how the purge began and all that, you feel me? Y'all, this one was so crazy. First of all, going into this, y'all know I don't do these jump scare movies and all that. I didn't jump about no. four, five times, peeing myself a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm just playing like, peeing myself, but I jumped four or five times. Like, and then I was sitting there, I was like, bro, why am I in here? I'm about to leave. <laughs> And I was like, you know what? It ain't even that bad. It ain't even that bad. It's gonna stick it out. That's it, man. It's mostly action. They do got some jump scares for you, though. And some of them are real scares, but a lot of them are cheap. It's just a loud sound with something happening. You feel? Nah, y'all. That just was. <laughs> it had a lot of moments. It had a lot of scary moments that it didn't capitalize on. I felt like, like it had some jump scares where it had you on edge a little bit, but. There were certain creepy elements about the movie where I was like, oh, if they would have really went in with that, it could have been, you know, even crazy. Mm -hmm. Like one of the main antagonists, uh, Ske Skeletor, was what they call him. He man, he scared the creepy. mess out of me. Who creepy. I was bro. like, bro, this, like his face is just so, ugh. Yeah, I think they showed that at the beginning. You was out getting popcorn. Oh. But he was talking about, you know, I just like the release. I just like the purge. And that's where uh, the lady, the, the, the psychologist, no, the oh. psychologist, that's where she came up with the name, the purge, you feel me? And the way they set him up, it was so dope. He was creepy, he had this mysterious, you know, you don't know what's going on with him for real, for real. Long story short, the nigga got crackhead, y'all. And that's the only bad story <laughs> they gave him. I said, hey! But the, the tension, like the way they brought in the movie with him, and then, you know, once he encounters one of the protagonists, you like, yo, this dude creepy, he bout some. And he had his moments throughout the film, but I I would have liked to see him, you know, a little bit more fleshed out. But the movie won't but an hour and 30, 39 minutes, so. But it's, it first started out in, um, first of all, it took place in Staten Island, New York. Mm -hmm. So they had an option to either participate in the purge or go across the bridge to Brooklyn. And they, um, they was giving them $5,000 to whoever participated or well, whoever stayed whoever stayed on Staten Island and the more you participate the, the more money you get mm-hmm bruh and they had little track tracking systems oh yeah little contacts and stuff you know what I'm saying to see what they doing boy those contacts look so freaking scary that was dope that was dope throughout the movie everybody had glowing eyes you know what I'm saying everybody had different well not everybody only the people that chose to participate in the purge 
and they had different color eyes and everything. That was a really dope feature. They utilized that to make some uh, creepy scenes by using the eyes. Okay, it was really scary. That was dope. That but, was really um, dope. Well, the, the main character is Naya. And then there's Dimitri. <laughs> I forgot all their names, y'all. And her brother is Isaiah. <laughs> He the, man, let me tell y'all, this little boy is Tyreek Jr. Yeah. If y'all watch Power, this little boy is Tyreek Jr. Me and Chloe said that, was like, at the same time, we was like, man, this boy Tyreek <laughs> at the same time. Because he just so dumb. He was very, very... He was a beginning. punk, man. In the beginning, he was... Uh, he was a punk, for lack of a better word, bro. But he ended up doing his thing a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He did show out at the end, though. He, You know, he did his little thing, but... There were just moments where they wouldn't even have a main issue if he would have just handled his business. But then again, if he would have handled his business, they also would have died because, you know what I'm saying? Skill Tour came through and helped them boys out at the end. So what um, Isaiah did was his sister Naya, she told him to go over to Brooklyn while the purge going on. So he was like, alright. But the whole time, he in the apartment still there. like. <laughs> So she called and she was like, are you in Brooklyn? Did you get there safe? Did you get on the bus? All that. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whole time he lied. So she was thinking he good. Nah. Well, Before I, put his contacts in, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's read back. The reason he stayed is because the Skeletor, the interesting dude. Crackhead. He uh, <laughs> he cut him, you know what I'm saying? Young boy Isaiah, you know what I'm saying? His sister on the you know pro-black, do the right thing. He like. I'm about to hit this block and sell this crack. Yeah. So he was out there selling drugs and he ended up getting cut by Skeletor. That what made him tight. And he was like, oh, he didn't make me look weak in front of everybody. Uh -huh. So now I got to stay and kill him. This is my night to be able to kill him not go to jail. So that's why he was being hard-headed. And he ended up being pussy anyway. When he saw him face to face, dude said, do it, shoot me. Man, they were face to face like this. So Skeletor had a knife. Uh, Isaiah had a gun. Had it in his face like this. Bruh. <laughs> They didn't even pull the trigger, they were just talking back and forth. He was scared, man. Then, um, somehow, it, his gun ended up on the ground. Skeletor tried to, uh, Cut him. slash him like that. Mm -hmm. Then he ran away. Man, he was running <laughs> for his life, too. No, oh, you little punk. Oh, I was so mad. <laughs> I was so mad, y'all. We was like, shoot him! Shoot him! Nah, bro, the gun ended up on the ground. We were like, Tyreek Jr. <laughs> Tyreek Jr. Remember yeah. that, block, that block party they had though? That shit was lit. They were having block parties and everything. And that was one of the main conflicts of the movie was they went purged as much as they wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the, the little association, NFAA or whatever they called it in the movie. They was like, darn, we can't get everybody to buy in around the country if we don't get enough people killing each other. So they were sending military people at hiding as gangs, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Trying to you know hide under the disguise of gang. And they was out there killing people to say, look, look, everybody's starting to do it. So, they were the main antagonists with the government coming in to do all that, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody was chilling for real. I mean, a few people was getting fucked up. Yeah, they were chilling. They were having block parties. They were just out there. We getting money. But the government ain't like that. It was like, nah, send them in. But wait, because the um the dude that was working with the lady. The chief. He don't, the chief yeah, he the one that set it up. She didn't know. Mm -hmm. He The whole time he was on the phone, like, he was sending them in, send them in. But she didn't know. She was like, uh, what we going to do about this? And... All that mess, but he working in the background the whole the whole time being sneaky. And that's another thing. They ain't even flesh out nut okay, look. I'm more in the movies than T, you feel me? I'm more in the movies than a lot of people I say. I ain't gonna say I'm a movie buff. Bobby knows some stuff. She be getting mad at me because she be like, bro, you about to ruin the movie. I'll be like, bro, just watch the <laughs> daggone movie. He be like, no, cause that should have did this, that should have did that. <laughs> this one right. Oh, it's all right, bro. But see. I, if, if any of y'all familiar with Cinema Sins, I love that channel, you know what I'm saying? That's a channel where, you know what I'm saying, they, they play movies and they basically highlight anything that's stupid or logically don't make sense. Uh -oh. I love watching that joint. Now see why. Because I'm similar, but with only a runtime of an hour and 39, you can only do so much. Mm -hmm. But there were so many plot holes for me, man. Like I said, the Skeletor dude was the most interesting person in the, in the movie to me. <laughs> to me. He was just a creeper. He just had an aura about him. I'm like, man, what's up with this dude, bro? All they gave us was, like I said, he a crackhead. Yeah. But that, nah, bro. Nah. They definitely could have moved. They definitely could have uh, used him more. He had scars on his face. They ain't explain why he had the scars on his yeah. face or nothing. You know what I'm talking about? But 
They had that. Then you got Dimitri. He's the main protagonist. That is my favorite. That was my favorite. He went hard. Though. Long story short, he had, he the top dope boy in Staten Island. He runs Staten Island. You feel me? And he was like, the only reason he stayed because he's like, a ain't nobody gonna fuck with me. B ain't nobody gonna fuck with me. C <laughs> ain't nobody gonna fuck with me. And he liked night. <laughs> but yeah. he used to date. D. I got a whole squad running with me, so they ain't about to mess with none of us. So he was straight. He could have just stayed in the crib, mm -hmm. and when nobody ran up on him. But once he saw, you know, some crazy stuff going on, he was like, "We gotta help the regular people." No, remember them girls tried to get him when they came in yeah. his room. Yeah. So another gang was going, trying to go against his gang. So they sent two girls to go up in his room, and they were just uh feeling on them and stuff and all. Trying One girl to, sucked his know. penis. She should have just bit it off. Shoot, they would have won. But anyway. <laughs> One girl was down there, another girl was behind him sitting on the pool table and he was leaning against the pool table. She mm -hmm. grabbed a knife on the back and was about to stab him, but he caught that jank boy. And then he beat both of them. <laughs> he beat that. He told them up in that room. They deserved. But he he had both of them choke. He was just like, why? He was just like, why, bro? And he was like, who sent y'all? And then Big A or something? Mm hmm That was his name? Big A. Yeah, it was actually a dude from his game. Cause that was one guy from his gang that was like, yo, oh. I'm trying to go purge, have a good time, blah, 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 blah. So he said, yo, he set that whole thing up so he could be the king. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. it wasn't another gang. It was his own people that turned on him. So, you know what I'm saying? They hunt them down. They went back to the girls, you know what I'm saying? They posted them up back where uh, Big A was from or whatever. They pulled up, he got her car, got his little car. Cause they've been purging. They've been fucking niggas up, stealing, doing all that. Mm -hmm. Ha <laughs> Man. Tell, did he beg for his life? <laughs> did he beg for his life? And then that dude came out. Man, I tell y'all, he switched so fast. He said, yo, I was just playing, bro. <laughs> Come on, I bro. What? You trying to get me killed, bro? They had some lines in this movie that was outrageous. <laughs> like, what? He was like, yo, yo, I cut him off, bro. No, no, don't tell me like that. And that, Dimitri ain't got no problem pulling no trigger. Yo, he ain't got Dimitri Isaiah problem. Is the fucking MVP. Like, I love him throughout this movie, yo. That was my I don't favorite know. Character. He kind of was fucking up the community. The girl made a good point. I don't care. He was, For this he movie, was getting yeah. his money. <laughs> nah, look. Oh, look. Nah, nah. <laughs> he was getting his money. Shoot. Leave him alone. He was a drug dealer. That's why his girl left him in the first place. Nah, she yeah. said, yo. Because they made a good point. She was like, yeah, they everybody Persian. Or they trying to purge just one night. You been purging for 364 days. <laughs> I done seen what happened to families, you know what I'm saying, from what you and your people do. And the way he be killing, this ain't his first time killing, that's for sure. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So her whole point was like, bro, this is like, no, this is heaven for you, because you do you do this anyway. But he had his whole character arc. I mean, I don't think he's going to stop selling drugs. That was not what came out at the end. Nah. But he was like, I'm going to look out for the people, though. This is our community. So he is, he is a better person than uh, I guess just I don't, I, than a terrible drug dealer. He basically he, he, was, he, he like somebody gonna buy it, so I'm gonna be the person that give me the tune. Well, he he was he came off a little softer around Naya. Mhm. Mm that was a little baby. Little boot thing, and but, she was like, I don't want nothing to do with you. Leave me alone, and all this. This before the purge started. She's stupid. But she ain't stupid because she left a drug dealer. She's stupid because. <laughs> During the purge, said, you and your little brother come stay with me. They got guns, weapons. This dude got an arm. He got everything. She talking about no. I'm going out. <laughs> you stupid. I'm like, hey, bro, you got PS4 in here? Let me go ahead and play that. <laughs> Get time over. I'm a chill, no, bro. The reason why she did that is because she tried to get as many people as possible to to go in one church so they could sit out the whole time. Was, this dude, Demetri, had a whole gym. <laughs> you might, hey, bring everybody back over here. They can stay over here. She could have pulled, you know what I'm saying? He'd be like, all right. But then, bro, once they send that military man, because mm. first, um, Isaiah, she had she had called him. He was like, help, help, like that. And so she was like, where you at? I'm coming to get you. Bro, she went out there, y'all. I don't mean no harm. <laughs> My brother or sister, I'm like, look, I told you about the. <laughs> and like the other person. <laughs> When they go and pick somebody up, there was only one of them where they did it right. They walking in the middle of the goddamn street. I was saying the same thing when that happened. I was like, y'all right in the middle. And then Tariq, dumbass, he do the opposite. <laughs> he walk in the middle of the street, but then he go in the darkest, when Skeletor is chasing his ass, he walk in the darkest, darkest place building. he could find. Oh my God. And then he run around, look like this, and then he did ran into other people. 
then fell, then hurt his leg. Ain't nobody touched that man. He didn't <laughs> fell, hurt his own goddamn leg. Ain't nobody touched him. But that was creepy. He was walking through, you know, like this little island that had people in the windows with their hands against the window, just looking out. With the eyes. With the, with the glowing eyes. eyes. You know what I'm saying? But that made me think, like, they regular people, so what the fuck they doing though? Like, they just, let's creep this nigga out, bro. They could have shot him easily. Yeah. They go crazy. But, you know, there were some highlights in the movie as well. You know what I'm saying? It went nah. Uh, overall, we thought it was pretty entertaining. It was entertaining. It was a little, the white man is evil, but, hey, that is what it is as far as, the, there, there was one line in particular, I was like, ooh. Which one was that? It was like, let's go kill these white head motherfuckers. Or oh, something yeah. like that. But see, but, 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 <laughs> in defense of the writer, director, whoever, they had the antagonists, a lot of the gangs, uh, with KKK uniforms on with mm -hmm. him. Like, I'm like, damn, who wrote this? They kind of being divisive, but. I was hey. like, I was getting, I was getting mad. Real quick. <laughs> and then when Demetra said that, let's go kill these. Well, I was like, stood up in that booth, I was like, yeah, let's go get them. Go get them. <laughs> let's see, all I could think, like, damn, this shit, whoever wrote this shit, that's kind of divisive, bro. That like, shit was crazy, y'all. Why did you go that extreme, bro? I'm talking about they had the KKK, KKK everything. You know, not, just, not something that looked like it. And most of the regular characters, the poor people were mostly black. Mm-hmm. So poor it was people. one of those moments in the theater where we don't care for real. <laughs> but I could see it being like, damn, it feel kind of weird. Like especially <laughs> with a group of white people and black people go together or something. Where it's like KKK, black people and black. And then he like, let's go kill these white motherfuckers. That's basically what he said. Yeah. They be like. Fuck y'all! Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, damn, y'all didn't have to go that far. So yeah, that was pretty But good. it was still interesting nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. But the whole thought of the purge is crazy anyway, so whatever, it fit in. But anyway, back to the highlights. There was this one action sequence in the <laughs> hallway. I said, God damn! That was a good ass action sequence. Hold on, let me And I'm a movie, thing. like, you know what I'm saying? I'm meticulous about certain shit. So they went back to mm -hmm. the towers where uh, Naya and Isaiah live. This mm -hmm. is where the, uh, more poor black people stayed. This is after they saw the KKK and shot up the whole church of black people. Yeah, so they they, they, was, they went people. on to the government after this. Dimitri and his gang. That shit was sad, bro. So the, the uh, government went to the um, towers and stuff. Demi not Dimitri, um, Isaiah, Naya, and uh, some other few people was hiding in the apartments. So the military, they bust up in the apartments, each floor, level by level, just <laughs> each, each uh, door they went taking in. Taking people out, left and right. Everybody out. So then they get to <laughs> uh, Naya in the uh, room, whatever. And first of all, Dimitri, he just saves the day. So he go in there, they still shooting up people. Dimitri coming up the steps. He turned, first of all, he turned the uh, lights off. Mm -hmm. He turned the power off in the building so they couldn't see. And that's when he just went crazy. He mm -hmm. went crazy, like, just shooting everybody. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, they get to Naya in the room. They bust the door open or whatever. They had a little plan. You shoot them, I'm gonna stab them. They were just stabbing them and stuff. Then, what happened after that? Dimitri came. I don't give a fuck about nothing except the action sequence in the hallway that happened. <laughs> That's all I care about. Everything else, cool. <laughs> but that one scene, cause it was one, well, they probably put some effects in there to make it look like one shot, but it was basically one shot where they didn't cut at all. And the action, it, the action was just nice. You could see everything that was happening. It wasn't too shaky and nothing like that. It wasn't cutting here, cutting there, cutting here, cutting there. There were some scenes like that. But that one scene, I just sat there and said, who the fuck designed that scene? Cause it wasn't the motherfucker that designed the rest of them. It wasn't the same person. That, that scene was outstanding, bro. I was an intern. <laughs> that, man, that shit was outstanding. Y'all don't understand. I'm dead, like IP man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like really well done action. And that jump was, it was off the chain. Just the whole sequence, him hitting them, shooting, cutting. They go down the stairs, like it was one pure shot, yeah. just straight through, no cuts. And that was Dimitri fighting that was off the chain. The military bro. people. Yes. Man, he he went hard and he was like, I don't care. He went hard. But hold on. <laughs> Remember that one part before they went in the building and his his friends, well his the gang people got shot by uh, some dro some some drones. Some yeah. drones. 
they was like, bro, they looked up. They just died. But then his one friend. <laughs> oh, shit. His one friend that sat by the car. <laughs> I guess he got shot in the leg or something. So Dimitri was like, give me the he guns. Blood on he was himself. putting the guns on and everything. Like, bro, you coming or no? Nah? He talking about, all right, man. <laughs> Dot the bump and everything. And just sat by the car. But at the end, though, that's the thing. It did like he was fucked up. It did like he was fucked up. But the person don't last for 12 hours. <laughs> it was like an hour or so later. <laughs> Demetri getting hauled out, you know what I'm saying? This dude just right behind him, limping a little bit. A little bit. He was perfectly fine, y'all. He was so damn normal, like. It, we were like, bro, what the hell? Man, we saw him, we was like, hollering. We said, that man said, I'm not dying tonight, bro. The boy said, you go ahead, I'm, I'm gonna stay out here. You just saw <laughs> 150 military people went in there. You think I'm about to go over there for your woman? That ain't my girl, that's your girl, bro. I wish you luck. Man, he was like. That boy said, <sighs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that boy was not dead, bro. Hey, bro, that boy probably said, right, "I'm gonna watch out here. You go ahead up there." I'm sorry, he was just sitting there, lead, shot in the lead. Man, what? That drink, man. But, but yeah, that, I mean, there were certain sequences in the movie that would like just make you scratch your head, and then there were other parts of the movie that were real good, like the the camera angles they used in this joint. I found interesting, like just simple stuff, just like. Not a full, uh, oh my God, I forgot the name of the term. But they had a lot of shots where the camera was slightly tilted. Is it called a Swedish angle? I can't remember. But it went like completely all the way. It was just slightly off. And I appreciated the little angles. It, it, was, it was just interesting camera work done. There were certain parts about this movie where I was like, that was executed very well. I mean, certain characters had certain highlights that were like, that's done really, it was like, bits of a great movie in a shitty movie that made it a <laughs> decent movie it, and you know it was just it was very interesting just you just have to see it for yourself and decide for yourself yeah so when we get to the end some of the soundtrack was wet too <laughs> not the soundtrack but the background music was uh, uh daytime showish uh-huh we get to the end Demetrius shot he got shot when he was in the building. Mm -hmm. So they walking down, they made it out safe, the purge was over. They walking down the street. <laughs> and it just cut off. We the movie like, just went off. It went smooth off. We were like, I thought they were just walking calmly. Like, he shot. Like, y'all just walking. Well, everybody move out of the way. The king of Staten Island coming through, whatever they called him. The gorilla, whatever they what, was calling him. What called she call him? him? The something she called him the ape the lion it was some big ass animal the dog the big dog or something <laughs> but they were walking and this shit just cut off no we was like did he survive did they go to the hospital you know what did the government think what did the community what did america think about the purge but in the stingers of the critics they they addressed yeah. you know the government but it just went off like out of budget i'm just like <laughs> oh shit out of budget that's the end our budget over <laughs> Cameraman packing up. Lights coming on the movie theater. We're like, hold on, it ain't over yet. <laughs> but yeah, they addressed it. But overall, it was like, if you open the entertainment, it was an entertainment movie. You feel me? You might, depending on how sensitive you are or are not, you may or may not be offended by uh, the the devicism, if you will. Yeah. Because basically they saying, don't, don't fuck with them. This race don't fuck with that race. That race don't fuck with this race. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I'm telling you, White people, we love y'all, but in this movie, they basically said the white man is evil, bro. That's just what they decided to go with. Yeah. Whatever. That's what they want to do. But if you're not really sensitive to that, they don't really, you know, affect you too much or they ain't going to affect your movie experience. Oh, wow. It's pretty decent, man. And you survived. You survived. I did. Yeah, and she enjoyed herself. There were some moments where she was like, y'all. The hell, the preview. <laughs> The previews Shut, for the nun. All that gone. The previews for the nun. And we reacted to it. <laughs> That's the thing in the theater. You can't run from it. You can hear it. It's dark. When I'm scared, I just be like, yeah, put my head down. <laughs> and I just do whatever. I try not to look at that screen as much as I can. <laughs> and she called me weird because I said, I want to see the nun, but I want to sit in the middle, in the middle front. You know what I'm saying? Very little people in there. That way you get the full effect. You feel me? I love scary movies. But anyway. That was our spoiler, uh, mukbang. Is that is that what it's on? Mukbang, mukbang, <laughs> something. So what would you rate this movie? One out of 10. Damn, shit. Six or seven. I'm gonna go a 
No, I'm gonna go 6.5. Okay, well, this is this was actually my first Purge movie that okay. I watched. Mm -hmm. So I li I liked it a lot. So I'll say about an eight. But eight trying to slide it out. I'll give about an eight. eight. <laughs> I say six point five. It depends. <laughs> it yeah, it see me, I don't really hate too many movies, so it's hard for me to give movies a bad rating. But from a technical perspective, story, all that, blah blah blah, I say six point five. Okay, that's fair. But for most people, I think most people would get about an eight, maybe an eight five or something, you feel me? But anyway, yeah. thank you guys for watching. How you supposed to edit these? I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Yeah, let me know. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like this video while you let it. We greatly appreciate if you did so. And until next, next time, time, peace. Man, I hated that Tariq ass character, man. No, we need to go find his nerves, ass. <laughs> what? Shoot him! <laughs> that movie would have been over if you just shot him. Tripping, bro.